Hi, my name is Neil Kelker, and today I'll be presenting on the ACR guidelines for contrast media reactions for adults. I was advised on this project by Dr. Morley L. Wang from the Department of Radiology at Cook County Hospital. Patients can have adverse reactions to contrast from iodinated agents in the case of CT studies and gadolinium-based agents in the case of MRI studies. These adverse reactions are rare, however, with adverse reactions to iodinated contrast occurring in one in 2,500 patients and adverse reactions to gadolinium-based contrast agents occurring in one in every 12,500 patients. It's important to keenly monitor patients throughout procedures and recognize signs that a patient is experiencing an adverse reaction to contrast media. The following two slides show the 2023 ACR guidelines. Now let's run through the five main ACR contrast media reaction cases and the appropriate action items. Case number one, a patient presents with hives or diffuse erythema. First, monitor the patient's vitals and call a code if necessary. Second, administer diphenhydramine or Benadryl, 50 milligrams PO, IV, or IM. Diphenhydramine, 50 milligrams, is, is available in vials in the department's anaphylaxis trays for IV or IM use. Aspirate the diphenhydramine from the vial and administer the dose appropriately. Here is the summary slide for case number one. Case number two, a patient presents with hypotension and bradycardia. First, preserve IV access, monitor the patient's vitals, and call a code if necessary. Second, start the patient on 6 to 10 liters of oxygen. Third, elevate the patient's legs more than 60 degrees. Fourth, administer a bolus of normal saline wide open. If the patient is refractory, administer 6 to 10 mils of a pre-filled atropine syringe. Atropine 1 milligram per 10 mils is included in the anaphylaxis tray and instructions are on the back of the box. Here is a summary slide for case number two. Case number three, a patient presents with hypotension and tachycardia. First, preserve IV access, monitor the patient's vitals, and call a code if necessary. Second, start the patient on six to 10 liters of oxygen. Third, elevate the patient's legs more than 60 degrees. Fourth, administer a bolus of normal saline wide open. Fifth, administer epinephrine, 0.3 mils of 1 in 1,000 IM, or use an EpiPen, or administer epinephrine, 1 milliliter of 1 milligram per 10 mils, IV with a slow flush, or with IV fluids. Epinephrine, 1 in 1,000, is included in the anaphylaxis tray in an ampule. Split the ampule along the neck and dispose of the top part in the Sharps container. Aspirate the epi from the ampule and administer 0.3 mils IM. While the syringe appears shallow, administer IM. Here is the summary slide for case number three. Case number four, a patient presents with laryngeal edema or inspiratory strider. First, preserve IV access, monitor the patient's vitals, and call a code if necessary. Second, start the patient on six to 10 liters of oxygen. Third, administer epi 0.3 mils of one in 1000 IM. Here is the summary slide for case number four. Case five, a patient presents with bronchospasm or an expiratory wheeze. First, preserve IV access, monitor the patient's vitals, and call a code if necessary. Second, start the patient on six to 10 liters of oxygen. Third, administer an albuterol inhaler, two puffs, repeating up to three times. Here's an image of the albuterol available in the Pixis. Start by inserting the metal canister into the actuator. Remove the cap and ensure the mouthpiece is clean for use. Pointing away from your face, shake the inhaler well and test spray three times. Instruct or help the patient to breathe out fully and place the canister upright and in front of their mouth. Open their mouth while depressing the top of the canister and inhale deeply. Hold their breath for 10 seconds and exhale slowly. Wait one minute. Shake the inhaler before administering the second puff. Repeat this process up to three times as necessary for a total of six puffs. If the patient is refractory, administer epi 0.3 mils of one in 1000 IM. Here is the summary slide for case number five. Here are the sources for this presentation. Thank you for your time. Please refer to the latest ACR guidelines for any clarification.